Hello guys, welcome. Thank you for checking out this presentation on JavaFX. So what is JavaFX? JavaFX is a software platform for creating and developing desktop applications. So you can use this JavaFX software to build your desktop applications as well as you can build applications which can run on different devices like phones, tablets, Kindle, etc. And JavaFX gives you this GUI toolkit which basically gives everything in packed and all you have to do is you have to use. So JavaFX library comes with controls like buttons, text boxes, text fields, password fields, pie chart, etc. All you have to do is you have to use that library in order to create different kind of forms. So let's say if you're, if you want to create a login form, you can just use the controls that have been given to you by JavaFX and uh, you can create a beautiful looking login page. You can even add styling to your application just like we do it for web applications. You can add CSS etc. Similar way in JavaFX application also it gives you the power to add your own styling. You can create your style sheet, you can have a different font color, you can have a background image for your applications. So you can make your application very neat and clean, very beautiful with the help of JavaFX. And uh, in the future, you will see that JavaFX has completely replaced the Swing and it is also going to be an official part of Java GUI library for Java SE. So in the near future, there are good chances that Swing is to get replaced by JavaFX. Now, what are we going to cover in this particular course? I'm assuming that you do not know any JavaFX. You are coming from a very basic background. So we are going to start from the very basic introduction of what JavaFX is. And then from there, we are going to go ahead and cover the first step, which is the what is scene, what is scene graph, what is a, a stage and different kind of layout panes that are available. So we're going to start with the very basic and the, we're going to first start with a layout panes. What are the different kind of layout panes? How you can arrange your nodes or controls inside of this layout pane? And on the side by side, we'll also build a simple login application using, as you can see in this picture, you see a username and password and then a button. So we're going to go ahead and build this simple login page using the different controls that we're going to cover in this course. So everything that you're going to cover in this course is not just going to be a shallow understanding of the topic. We're going to go in depth. We're going to actually use those controls in building some real time and real cool applications. Then we are going to go ahead and also create this registration form, as you can see here. And uh, using this form, we are going to use different controls like text boxes, buttons, label, list view, choice boxes, radio button, check boxes, password field, etc. So we're going to go ahead and use these controls that is already given to you by the JavaFX toolkit and we're going to use these to create something like registration form. So you're actually going to learn how to implement or how to use the controls in a real world application. And once we have got ourselves familiar with the basic controls and uh, the layout panes that are available in JavaFX, then we're going to go ahead and work on different kind of shapes. So JavaFX gives you two-dimensional as well as three-dimensional kind of shapes. So you can build different kinds of rectangles, rounded rectangles, circle, ellipses, arcs, and different types of arcs, lines, etc. So we're going to go ahead and go over each of these shapes. And we will also create a canvas on which we will add all these different kind of shapes. We are going to see the important methods, the properties of each of those shapes. Then we're going to go ahead and talk about menus. So menus are a very important part of a JavaFX application. In your day-to-day -day life, you come across different kinds of menus on a Microsoft Word or a Notepad screen, etc. right? So we are going to build those menus. And uh, how to create those menus, we are going to see in this particular section. So we are going to work on these two examples related to menus. In the first one, we are going to just create a simple file web SQL menu and you can see there are different kinds of items that you can add to a menu like a check menu item, the radio menu item, sliders you can add just like here in this picture you can see there's a slider we have added, there's a separator that we have added. So we're going to go ahead and cover all this in detail in the menu section of the course. We are still not done. We have charts to cover. JavaFX comes with a lot of charts. If you want charts, is nothing but it's a graphical representation of your data. If you want to graphically represent your data in a form of chart, JavaFX gives you the different charts that you can use in order to show your data. 
So we will be covering pie chart, area chart, scatter chart, line chart, bar chart, etc. in this course. And we'll actually will be building charts like this one that you can see in the picture. We'll be creating these charts from the scratch using the JavaFX toolkit, providing data, and you'll have a chart end of that section. We have a separate section to cover charts, and we will be covering all these charts step by step, and we will see how to create one and how to use them, what are the important methods, etc. Then the most important part of this course is the JavaFX event handling. So far, what we have done is we have just creating the UI, but those UI needs to actually do something, right? When you click on a button, you want something to show. You want a video to play. If you, if you click on a button, you want the video to stop. If you want to click on it, so you, you want it to perform some actions based on a particular events, right? So what are the events? Even can be a mouse click. Uh, pressing the key on the keyboard or closing the window, etc. So we are going to go ahead and talk about event handling in which we are going to handle the different kinds of events, mouse event, key events, window events. We will talk about what is the target, what is source, what are the different kinds of events, etc. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the event handling where you're going to actually add some life to your applications. And then finally, we are going to go ahead and create this beautiful looking calculator app at the end of the course. We'll be making this simple app where you will be performing calculations like adding multiplication, division, etc. You can calculate that. This is going to be the app that we'll be building in this course. Through this app, you will be basically revisiting all the different topics that we have covered. So we'll be building all these stuff. We're going to build a calculator app. We're going to build login form. We're going to look at the menus, different kinds of shapes that is available. We'll, we'll cover everything. Now, what kind of IDE we are going to use? So beforehand, I want to tell students that we will be using a Eclipse IDE and we're going to use Java 9 version. And we are also going to download this JavaFX plugin for the Eclipse in order to create the JavaFX applications. So these are the three important uh, prerequisites, or we can say these are the three important software that we are going to download for this course. So don't worry if you do not have anything installed right now. In this course, I will show you step by step how to download and install your Eclipse, how to download and install Java, as well as we are going to go ahead and download the F EFX plugin for this course as well. So do not worry, just follow along with me in this course and we will have everything set up. What are the prerequisites for taking this course? I'm assuming you do not know JavaFX, but I'm assuming that you know Java. You know the basic of Java, how to write a program in Java. So I'm not going to go ahead and revisit the basic of Java. I'm assuming you are already familiar with Java. In order to take this course, you will also need an internet connection. And also I'll request you guys it's not mandatory that whatever the topics that we are covering and whatever the apps that we are making, I want you to go ahead and perform and write those applications along with me so you can follow what I'm doing and you can actually get some hands-on experience because that way you're not just watching the videos, you're actually understanding and doing it along with me, which will help you to better understand this whole course. And why you should take this course. So as you know, there are different kinds of JavaFX courses available, but this course will going to cover some very important real time projects and we are going to learn with examples. We are not just going to talk about theory. We will actually will learn with different examples. This course is going to start from the very basic of JavaFX and it will take you to an expert in JavaFX. So by the end of the course, you will have that much confidence and have that knowledge to yeah, that you can go on your own and build very complex JavaFX applications. You will also have practice exercises at the end of every section. I want, I will be taking little tests of yours after every section so that I know how much you have learned. So there will be quizzes at the end of every section. There will be a lot of questions that I'll be asking you at the end of every section. And I request you guys to do not jump over to the next section before finishing those quizzes. You will also learn the concept, not just in a shallow way, but you're going to learn them in the depth and with the amount of knowledge that will be provided to you in the course, you can even figure out things on your own. You trust me, you're going to be an expert at JavaFX after the end of this course. You will also get a real professional experience, not just the theory in this course. So we're actually not just going to go through a presentation and that's it. We're actually going to do some live examples, some cool apps, some cool features we're going to cover in JavaFX course.
The purpose of this video was to make yourself familiar what we are going to cover, what kind of things, what kind of what will be the style of the teaching. So if you like the style and if you're thinking that this course is going to be helpful, I'm guaranteeing you that's going to be very helpful. You won't regret your decision. And uh, so if you think, then I will request you to go ahead and enroll in the course. And I'm looking forward to talk to you in the course. Bye bye. Thank you so much.